temperature. Well, let's go to Canberra now. Joining us live is the Treasurer, Josh Frydenberg. Treasurer, good to see you. Thanks for your time as always this morning. Uh, just wondering, uh, in light of the Attorney General's press conference yesterday, have you spoken to him since then? No, I've uh, been in contact with him over, over text and, uh, and uh, I, you know, I've wished him well in what has been a very difficult time for him and no doubt everybody else who have been involved. Um, this has been a distressing time in the Parliament. Uh, Pete, over recent weeks, um, but yesterday uh, you could see that anguish on Christian Porter's face. Uh, he made an emphatic denial of the allegations against him. Uh, and as we know, there is one only one authorised body to deal with these issues, and that is the police. And the police have said the case is closed, and that remains the case. Do you believe his side of the story, Treasurer? I'm in no position uh, to make a judgment uh, about, uh, about those particular issues. This goes back 33 years ago. But the Prime Minister was asked the very same question. And the answer remains that this is a matter for the police. They're the best ones to ascertain the veracity of the facts and, and the allegations. It's not whether you believe him or I believe him. The question is uh, what uh, has been the outcome of that police investigation. And they've said that the case is closed. Every one of my colleagues, including Christian Porter, and indeed every Australian, is entitled to the presumption of innocence. And I think we need to remember that very clearly in these, in these very difficult circumstances. Do you back him to continue in the job? Absolutely, I do. Um, he fulfils an important role in the government. Uh, yesterday, he um, strenuously and emphatically denied those allegations. And we've heard from the police, uh, who are the only authorised body to deal with such serious, you know, criminal uh, matters and allegations. And, and they've said that the case is closed. Will there be an independent inquiry? Well, we don't believe there should be an independent inquiry. Uh, again, uh, it's the police who deal with these, uh, these criminal uh, allegations and, and, and they have spoken in this matter. In the end, though, it, it may well be the only thing to deal with this a, a, and satisfy Christian Porter's critics. Well, I don't think you'll be satisfying uh, Christian Porter's critics uh, with, uh, by any actions that, uh, that the government takes. Um, the reality is uh, that uh, there were serious allegations that were made. They related to events 33 years ago. The police is the authorised body to deal with them. They have spoken, said that the case is closed and Christian Porter has emphatically denied the events and he's entitled to the, to the presumption of innocence. Um, as you know, members of the press gallery who have been around a lot longer than you or I, Pete, have commented on events in recent days and, and, ha and, and, and have, have, have felt that there's been a very different standard that's been applied to Christian Porter than to others in this place when other allegations were made. Um, this has to be beyond politics. Uh, this has to be about the rule of law and the presumption of innocence. And that's our government's firm position. So, so are you um, satisfied uh, that his denial ends the matter? I think the matter is at an end because the police have spoken. And it's the police whose, um, whose judgment and whose decision is the most important here. Uh, overnight, uh, there's also been reporting, Treasurer, that Linda Reynolds called Brit Higgins a lying cow. What's your reaction to that? Is that acceptable language? Well, Linda Reynolds has put out a statement and she's made it very clear uh, that she's never challenged uh, Brittany uh, Higgins' um, version of the events. Uh, so she's made that very, very clear. Uh, and, of course, uh, Linda, uh, like Christian, is taking... Uh, some time off um, to, to, to recover from what has been a difficult period for both of them. It's unacceptable language though, right? Well, again, um, you're, you're asking me in the abstract. Um, Linda Reynolds hasn't said that she's used that language. Uh, it, that is what has been reported in today's media. Linda Reynolds has put out a statement and she has said that she's never um, denied Brittany Higgins' version of events. All isn't well with the Liberal Party at the moment, uh, Treasurer, is it? I mean, you've got two ministers who are effectively sidelined at the moment. H how does the government function properly with that? Well, we're going to keep delivering for the Australian people. Their focus, our focus, remains on the rollout of the vaccine 
and the economic response and recovery. That's what matters to the lives of Australian, uh, of Australian people right now. And yesterday, we saw, Pete, um, some pretty uh, significant economic data with the December quarter showing that the Australian economy grew by 3.1%. It was slightly overshadowed by other events in the parliament yesterday. But when you look at those economic numbers, you can look at Australia's uh, economic performance in the context of the rest of the world. And we have outperformed all other advanced economies. Records first began with respect to the quarterly national account numbers in 1959. And this is the first time Australia has seen two consecutive quarters of economic growth above 3%. And what was very pleasing about yesterday's numbers was that it was the private sector that was helping to drive that recovery, with household consumption being up, with dwelling investment being up, with business investment being up, and, of course, with farm GDP having a 33% rise off the back of the second-best winter crop on record. Um, this should give Australians confidence and hope about the period ahead. We're not through uh, the, the, this crisis yet. There's still a long way to go. It's going to be a bumpy, hard road, particularly with JobKeeper coming to an end in March. But you wouldn't want to be in any other country but Australia right now. All right, Treasurer Josh Frydenberg, appreciate your time this morning. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Talk to you soon. A pleasure. Well,